everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review and it is for the much anticipated shang chi and the legend of the ten rings and i'm gonna say it outright this one is one of those that was like so overhyped and it actually lived up to that hype maybe not 200 percent but like 99.9%, like it lived up to it. I, it was one of the best Marvel movies, probably in, prob I would say, in the top five even. Uh, the best thing, though, there are two things. The best thing about this movie are the main characters. The actors were so good. The chemistry was so natural aquafina uh simu Liu, it was just amazing it never felt that it was kind of shoehorned in it was so natural the way the interactions were between these two it was just natural it never felt honestly that they were given dialogues it just felt like two people like talking and the chemistry how it evolved even more throughout the film was just so so good to watch and the dialogue between the two was something you're like you're watching and you just have a smile on your face because how these two characters are interacting with each other it, it was just a pleasure to just watch this happening and Aquafina's dialogue are just amazing throughout throughout she has some of the best lines in there and moments and you just you just cannot not smile like you have to you just laugh and there are so many moments in terms of uh, specific scenes just lay out throughout it, it, you just burst out laughing i watched this in an imax screening i watched an watching an IMAX like after what I think two years I haven't watched an IMAX movie in a while and it was packed it was a full house and she brought the house down and not just one not just two way too many scenes it was it was too good it was too good their chemistry is really one of the best in the MCU uh, I don't know how they did it but it was just spectacular second the fight scenes. Oh my goodness. They finally figured out how to do action in the perfect way. Without no shaky cam. Just pure action. There are like some amazingly put together fight scenes in this one. But also what it does is that it's able to honor fantasy martial art films of the lore. If you know cinema, if you've watched, you know, Jackie Chan or Jet Li or Donnie Yen or some of the, you know, especially with Jet Li and Donnie Yen, if you, I mean, I'm just saying one of those actors, but there are many more. They've done like fantasy films in the past. Somehow they found a way to implement the that imagery that you get with it and the fantasy element with it into the story in the most natural way possible there is some stuff happening at the end like crazy fantasy stuff and you never like whoa that's too much you just never feel that way because the way the story is put together the cultural aspects of the story the fantasy elements of the story are just woven into the story just extremely naturally and by the time that you get to the end you never feel like whoa this is going just out of this world all of a sudden like this was this movie and the third act just went off the rail it is a like a big climactic ending but it never feels that way and i swear there is an anime moment in there too and at that moment also a lot of the anime people in my <laughs> theater audience were like whoa we noticed that and i was like i'm so proud i am so proud that i actually noticed what he meant and there is literally 
a moment that just brought the house down. And I, I was so proud. I was so proud that they actually went there. Because in the moment, I was like, this feels like this anime shot that we've seen a long time ago. And it's a classic anime. And I'm going to say what the anime, if you know, you know. But it, when it actually happens and you're like, oh, so I was thinking right. It just, it just, everything just went together so well. The family aspect of it is very also culturally woven into the story. Everything that's happening, it feels like natural. It's some of it obviously is kind of the stories from the past. We've seen it before, but it fits well. I'm not saying it's the greatest story, but it's a good story and it fits well with what they're trying to do and what they're trying to do with the introduction of uh, the character. So it just went well with the whole martial arts, uh, martial arts aspect of it, uh, the fantasy element aspect of it, the family aspect of it, all of it. It just, everything went well. Now, there are a few, I would say, loopholes and things, you know, that just don't go as well that I thought they would. There are some plot holes, even like some conveniences that you're like, in the first act, especially, there's this thing where they try to find the two siblings and then something happens and the one sibling has to go to the other. And then they're like, OK, now you find them because you wanted them for these things. But then there's another story element that comes after and you're like, oh, somebody always knew where they were. So then it's like, OK, all that destruction and death would have happened because of that could have been avoided, you know? And then there's some other elements later on. Again, that kind of turns into a bit spoiler, so I won't say, but some elements are like, okay, well, how, why didn't this happen because of the last five years? You know, when Thanos snapped, what actually happened? How did that not affect something? And y you will get into that. So those two things, kind of stood out to me it really did it was like after like you think about it and you think about it you're like okay okay this is kind of going into a uh you know loophole and convenience uh territory but it's not something that really brings the movie down because there is so much good and the actors did so good the martial art aspect of it the action thank god no shaky cam and the wire work, everything. It was so natural. Even the wire work didn't feel like wire work. It actually felt like these are people with abilities, they're fighting. And you know, it, it, it was just, everything was so well done. Everything was put together in a way that really, really made this movie in the top five, or at least even in the top three of the MCU, it was really that good. You can really argue uh, for the top three. So I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. This is this is really good. This is as close to perfection it can get, minus some loopholes that I wish that they addressed in a, in a bit of a better way. But other than that, this was a joy ride from start to the end. Go watch it. It was an amazing film to go back to. If you haven't been to the theater, this one is definitely worth the wait. So yeah, that's my take on it. What did you all think about this? Or are you planning to watch it? Leave a comment below, let me know. And other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you like these kind of reviews, there are a whole lot of others on the channel. Please go have a watch. And yeah, take it easy, take care, and I will catch you all soon. Until then, ta-ta, take care. Oh, oh, oh.